Hello, I'm Zed Survivor. Right now in the game, there are four spawn towns available. The spawn points in those towns are random every time. A good thing is, you spawn in a building, not on the beach, naked like some games what like to put that? it. In this video, we will go in-depth through every town and rank every category about it. These categories will be overall zombie count, high tier loot, spawn points, amounts of good base locations, and early game grind potential. Zombie count will be overall, meaning we take both safer parts and dangerous parts of that town into account. High tier loot would be amounts of warehouses, police stations, gun stores, hardware stores, etc. Spawn points will be overall how good spawn points are for that town. Base spots will be potential of making a good base in that town. Towns with gated houses, remote farms, and things like that get more points. Early game grind potential will be how easy you can get books to grind using life and living. This has to be taken into account because a lot of players rush libraries for books to gain massive XP with the carpentry and survival shows. So let's get started. First, mode rot. Zombie count? Uh, I would say medium. Some parts are safe, but the west parts of town are infested, so it deserves a medium. High tier loot? Uh, I have to say high. A lot of industrial warehouses that have high tier weapons and gear, there's a lot of warehouses around the McCoy Logging Corporation, uh, uh, the rail yard, there's just a lot of good uh, high tier loot spawns. The spawn points are good. Most are good. You usually spawn in safer parts of town. In the gated community there are like four spawns. You also spawn in the remote locations of the town, like gated houses, and it doesn't have a lot of zombies, so it does deserve the good tier of spawn points. The base spots are also good. There are a lot of gated parts of town, farms, and a few isolated houses. There's also a lot of uh, cabins around Moldrot and warehouses, and it's just a lot of good base spots. Early game grind potential is low. I have to say low because libraries and schools are far and infested. Only books you can get is mass looting houses for them. Next, Rosewood. Zombie count is low. Rosewood has zombie count that is actually pretty low everywhere. Bigger hordes form later in the game, but when you start you won't be seeing that many zombies around. High tier loot is low. The only high tier loot loot buildings are the police station and the fire station. No warehouses at all. The only ones are farm warehouses that spawn food. Spawn points are good. All spawn points you get are pretty much great. There is only one house that has nothing in it. Mostly you spawn and you are safe and you have loot nearby, so you can loot a lot of good houses. Base spots? Good. There's gated community, farms around Rosewood and mansions to the southeast. A lot of good base locations in this town. Early game grind potential, high. The school is accessible from all spawn points pretty much and it has a fence, you can jump so it's safe to loot. A lot of books there and you can grind up all of your skills easily. Next, West Point. Oof, West Point. Zombie count, you know what it is, high. West Point is infested with zombies for no reason. There are massive mobs everywhere which really puts West Point down as a good spawn location. High tier loot? High. I have to say high, because of the hardware store and gun store, and you also have the police station and warehouses. Spawn points? Bad. I have to say bad, because mostly you won't have a lot of loot in the house you spawn in, zombies will be around, and it will be a tough to kill them all with no weapons. I have to say West Point has one of the worst spawn points that I've ever seen. And the base spots? Well, bad. A gated community is not really that gated, so it's not safe. All houses are pretty much surrounded by zombies, meaning they would respawn later. Only good base locations is west of town, in the safer areas and near the lake. Early game grind potential? Medium. You do have the school in the west part. You can get books and grind up your, your skills using life and living, but it's just that the town is full of zombies, so you will have to deal with them to get to the school. Riverside. Ah yes, favorite of a lot of players. Uh, the zombie count is low, 
Riverside doesn't have overall big zombie count. It's possible to survive. High tier loot? Medium. I would have to say medium, because there's the hardware store in downtown and the warehouses at the trailer park. But that's about it. Police station has only like three gun lockers, and other than that, um, not much high tier loot. Spawn points? Well, bad. I have to say bad, because overall you will mostly spawn in the poor parts of town or trailer park. Only semi-good spawn points would be in the middle or the bar because you can get good weapons, but then you have to walk east to find houses, which are also pretty poor, so spawn points are definitely bad. The base spots? Good. The base spots in Riverside are very good. With gated communities fully stocked up and walled off, this farm to the east and other uh, really good spots in Riverside, so it definitely deserves good rank in base spots. Uh, early game grind potential is medium. I have to say medium because with bad spawn points you won't be able to access the school so quickly, giving it a medium rank. With this ranking, I have to say I would put Riverside at the top. Even though spawn points are bad, this is not a huge issue. Once you escape the poor parts of town and move east, your life will be really easy from there. Rosewood is good too, but not for a long stay. A lack of high tier loot doesn't let it to be on the top. Moldrot is still good, it's almost at the top, but some areas have higher amounts of zombies and is overall for a slower pace. And West Point? Oh boy. West Point should be on the bottom. Oh, the zombie count is ridiculously high. It's a town for really skilled players and um, West Point is the best multiplayer spawn point. You have the most gun spawns and all of them are near each other and in multiplayer there are mostly not that many zombies as there are on single player making this town really good for multiplayer spawn. But if we're on the topic of single player and co-op, Riverside is on the top for now. And now it's time for the tip of the video. You don't actually need a sledgehammer to get in the armory on the police station. You can just bait a few zombies inside and kill them. There's a chance of them dropping a key, and then you can use the key to get in the armory. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed and learned something new. I will see you all in my next video.